Welcome back, beautiful dorks. Today we've got Myths and Mermaids Oracle of the Water. We are going to do an unboxing of this, even though, actually, especially because I got it at a thrift store. So I want to see what people are returning uh, or donating to thrift stores. Um, it is unwrapped. There's no cellophane on it. Uh, but the box is already still in really good condition. And, um, of course, the blue and the mermaid thingy caught my eye. And I thought it was a book, but I just grabbed it. And I knew from the sheen of the glossy book, of the glossy lid, that it was a deck of some sort. And then I saw the word Oracle and I was sold. So let's see what we've got. Um, this is a deck by Jasmine Beckett Griffith with Amber Logan and Kachina Micheletto. Uh, I believe it's Blue Angel Press. Yes, Blue Angel Publishers Press. Publishing, Blue Angel Publishing. Um, it looks like it retails for something uh, made in 2014. I paid, I think, I don't know, two or three dollars for it. Um, maybe less because it was considered a hardback book. I can't remember. Um, let's take a look and see what we got. I'm, I'm going to try to leave that right there so you can remember what we're doing. Wow. The cover. Oh, she looks like the sea lady. What's that? Venus. Um, De Ma no. The one in the seashell, I can't remember what her name is, but here's the guidebook, a big guidebook. Oracle of the Water. The color on the cover is very different from the cover on the box. And this is a little more saturated, which I really like. This definitely has a blue tint to it, which caught my eye. Good for it. Hmm. Just noticing the really striped, uh, modern-looking scarf floating around up there. I kind of love that. And... Little naked sea nymph in a giant oyster shell on the cover. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It just feels good in my hand already, just that flip through. Um, I want to see how many cards it's claiming to have and make sure we've got them all. That's the first thing I'm going to do is count. Nice box, very simple. Uh, I noticed there's no like insert in here to actually you know keep it from sliding around, and I like that. No bells, no whistles. Hmm. Really cute. How many are supposed to be in here? Mystical element of water. Let's see if we can get that. It's both bringer of life and bearer of death. Oh, wow, that took a dark turn. Cool. Water fae. All right, how many, how many, how many? Maybe I should read it. Give me a second. Artwork of world-renowned artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith, paired with guidebook channeling the wisdom, advice, and poignant poetry of Jasmine's two sisters. Oh, cool. Huh. Usually they would tell you, like, oh, it's a 44-card deck. Usually numbered. There it is, 44. All right. Oh, man. Mermaid with Pink Lotus, Nautilus Angel, Mermaid with the Golden Dragon. Tiki Mermaid, Ecomboldo Moto, Jeweled Octopus, Ecomboldo Mermaid, um, Shipwreck Siren, Hottie Mermaid, great names. All right. Oh, cool. I love that they've got also available. Oh, cool. And they have little uh, photos too of everything on there. Heck yeah. Amber, Kachina, and Jasmine, I am totally going to try to tag you in this video because this is great I love the photos that are included of the authors and artists and uh, the bio oh so good little pages for notes love it oh they've been pretty shapeshifters oh, this is great art okay 44 cards. Let's count. Oh, this feels like these have never been touched. Like, they are still so sticky slick. If you have a new deck like this, and you know what I'm talking about, it's like... It's so static right now. Like, it's there's nothing coming out of these cards for me. Except the back. Look at that. That's amazing. Ooh, 
very glossy. So one, two, three. Oh, they're hard. Oh, they're hard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. on target I'll count them again another time just to make sure I didn't miscount because these were very sticky that's the word I was trying to figure out um there's I can't wait to get some of my human oil all over it because they don't slap well yet they don't shuffle well oh, but I can't wait to look at the images this was such a cool find this is already now that I'm shuffling it's starting to crackle a little bit um and uh, for anybody who was wondering, uh, I felt the question pop up in my head too. What if there had only been 44 cards, excuse me, uh, like 34 cards or 43 cards? Then I would have used um, this as an incomplete deck uh, and either tried to, one, replicate the missing card, and I would have figured out what it was somehow, I'm not sure how, um, or I would have used them as uh, craft. That one just popped out to me. Um, for crafts or as single cards to send out with... Um, any kits that people buy uh, from Dork Witchery. So just fun singleton cards and then everybody who gets one is kind of always connected for life. I could call it a bookmark. Done. Boop. I don't know. Decoration. Or I would have just used the deck with one last card. Not everybody's always playing with the full deck anyway. Especially me. That's not true. I mean, eh, it's kind of true. All right. Feeling better. Shuffling. Let's see what this art's like. This is the one that jumped out of the deck for me. Oh, it's landscape. Mermaid with a golden dragon. That's so cute. She's like evil Bratz dolls looking. And then there's like a butterfly wing design in her tail fins. I like that this is a really different take on mermaid couture. Look at how cute the dragon is. All right, let's go to the guidebook. Do we know what number it is? It's three. I feel like I'm eating the microphone right now. Move that down a bit. All right, and they've got divination message. This stands for looking forward to prosperity. However, these also do come up reversed and it's called the antithesis. Beware of bad investments. So look forward to prosperity. Good news, your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay, soon to pay off. While it's exciting to contemplate your new success. <sighs> Excuse me. It's important to keep your head. Remember uh, that with wealth comes responsibility and if you are not careful with your money, it may soon be gone at the thrift store buying Oracle decks because this one's amazing. This is such a cute deck. It's, it's cute's not the right word. It's it's savage. But that's the first one I've looked at. Like, but it's balanced with this like super cute dragon. I don't know how I feel about it being landscaped because then I'm not sure. Um, like what? Because I'm only ever really gonna pull them like this. I guess I'm just gonna have to designate like if it's. You know, top is to the left. Is that reversed or vice versa? So I'll figure it out eventually. Um, hmm, that's really neat. Oh, wow. Trilobites. <laughs> All right, we are going to separate these out in landscape and portrait. 
Cool. Acromboldo mermaid. I love that word. Ha! Mermaid with a baby alligator. God, look at those eyes. Dang. Nautilus angel. Very cool. This is an artist who knows her style. Microcosm sea monsters. Oh. Yeah, I just got chills. I really like this one. This card and the deck. I was thinking I was going to put this up for sale. Um, I'm going to be keeping this one for quite a while. The fact that it leans from mermaid over into like the cephalopod stuff. Jeweled octopus. Oh my god. This is... Oh, this is a really unsettling deck. I love it. It's intense for Oracle. This is one of the more intense Oracle decks I've ever held. Jellyfish portal. Ooh, there's so much stuff under the sea, you guys. Not in the Little Mermaid way, like in the weird way. Microcosm seascape. Cool. Oh. Wow. Huh. Triumph of Galetta. Galatea? Galetta. Galatea. Galatea. Wow, look at her hair. Oh, Pompadour. What is this? I gotta read this guidebook. Oh, pretty. Stardust Angel. Oh. This one doesn't give me the Bratz vibe. Some of the other ones did. You guys know what I mean? Those Bratz with the Z dolls? I was a little too old for those, but the kids that babysat I loved them. Mermaid picking lotus blossoms. Why is she crying? So only two so far that are horizontal. Mermaid with a black sea serpent. I love it. Look at that guy. There we go. Manta ray mermaid. Whoo! That's pretty cool. Mermaid with floating flowers. Fuzzy eyelashes. Brats. Very cool. Storm chaser. Dang. That looks like a consolation more than anything. Such a neat look. Good cards. Really heavy cardstock. Yikes. An alien emerges. Hmm. That's a mermaid. Mermaids exist in this world. Seashell princess. This makes me want to play Animal Crossing. Look at that. Great colors. Oh, wow. I love the color. Water elementals. Hell yeah. This is worth study. Their eyes. Oh. Her facial expression. And what's that little guy doing? Venus. So it is Venus with cherubs. Cool, but just a modern version of it. That's really neat. Beautiful coloring. Tiger Lily, Tiger Nautilus. Is that like a Peter Pan throwback? I mean, I know that's the flower. Sea beasties. Oh, yes. Look at her hair. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Tail of Mossy Gold. Wow. Um, that's a bit of a close-up. I can't really tell what where the tail is, what was going. I mean, I know it's this, but like, which way is the fin? Where's the tail that's connected to the body? I can't really read that one too well. And I love the color, though. Interesting. This one got <laughs> foreshortened. It's kind of black boxed. Mermaid with pink lotus. Interesting. I wonder if I'm reading that differently like than it should be. I'm not sure why these are here. Tail detail is incredible. But you see what I mean? I can't really read where the tail is here. But I can in this one. I mean, that could be why it's so zoomed out in the second one. Green mermaid triplets. 
It's got a Lisa Frank vibe to it. Autumn Mermaid. Oh, heck yeah. You never think about Autumn Mermaids, right? Hmm. Stranded. Oh. La Serena. Ooh. It's like a Dia de los Muertos mermaid. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mermaid, mother and child? Okay. Compared to the rest of the deck, this one kind of feels like an afterthought image because it just looks like this one sort of transposed. It's not. It's, it's a little different. Um, yeah, the part is centered on the mother, the bigger one, but not here. And The proportions are just a little off because they're so similar. But you'd think like a kid mermaid would be chunkier, like a toddler. I don't know. Um, but I kind of like that it's only the green that pops out. And uh, it's like a black and white beachy photo. Wow. Mermaid with butterflies. Whew. Looking at the ripples around her. It's just a vibrating card. That's really cool. Tiki mermaid. Okay. Hmm. It was a little off. Yeah. A certain scent of light. That's a poem. That's really beautiful though. Gosh. Shipwreck Siren. Yes. My tentacle friend. So then we have another block boxed one. Interesting. So currently there are more horizontal cards than or forgive me, um vertical cards than horizontal or portrait landscape. Golden mermaid, wow. God, the colors really do pop in most of these. It's amazing. Jesus. Sea chariot. Oh, God, that's unsettling. I don't like fish. Halicon. Am I saying that right? Very iridescent tail. A lot of butterflies. Hmm. Absinthe mermaid. Okay. Alchemical seas. It's got a bit of a tarot feel to it. Yeah, there's a lot to read in this one. Hmm. Wait, this way. Flying fish. <laughs> butterfly. It's a butterfly fish. Oh. I mean, it looks cool, but I don't like fish. Hama Dryad Lake. Huh. I want to look up that word. Hamadryad. Like, down to the last two. Oh, big blue whale. Love that. Reaching for sunset. Gosh, that's vibrant. Some of the color palettes in these cards are just on point. Some are a little exaggerated, some are flattened. It's a good mix. We've got horizontal and vertical cards. Not bad for $2. Um, gonna have to play around with that a little bit more. Unreal. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one now or not. I really like some of, some of the images, um, but I like that it's a complete set. Haven't read with it yet. I've looked at one card, but don't consider that really reading. But Myths and Mermaids, Oracle of the Water by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and her sisters, Amber Logan and Kachina Micheletto. Very cool. Enjoy.